part of our empire. A puny contingent of their soldiers has been captured here on Kilra. This incursion was an act of desperation. The hairless apes now flail about knowing that they are beaten. They have failed their race utterly. There will be no interrogation. Do what you will with them. Disintegration. Silence. My brethren, they are not warriors, but maggots. Only one of them is worthy of being treated as a warrior. The one they call Angel. Still defiant, Ganotero. If we were to offer coexistence with your kind, would you not accept it? The Kilorati do not coexist. No, and now that the tide has turned in this war, your defiance is a pathetic and useless gesture. You bore me, monsieur. Disintegrate me so I might join my comrades. Disintegration is not for you. Your fate will be different. The human cannot appreciate the honor that I am about to bestow her. She is not only a great warrior, but her lair mate is the heart of the tiger. in peace. Peace. Have we ever known anything like that, Paladin? Not for a long time, Laddie. First the tiger's claw, now this. Enough. You are not to blame for either. Some would disagree. This is Colonel Christopher Blair. Report to Admiral Talwin. The wreckage of the Concordia has been located on Vespis off the Mistral Coast. Evaluation. Total loss. You can't live your life for the approval of one man. Any word from Angel? None. Is that the official line? I know how much she means to you, Lenny. Is there something wrong with your hearing, Colonel? No, sir. It's just that I... The TCS Victory is a fine carrier with a long history of service to the Confederation. Yes, sir. A very long history, sir. Ship assignments aren't open to debate, Colonel. Of course, I realize that the accommodations may not be what you're quite used to. Well, sir, I didn't mean to suggest that the Victory will benefit greatly from having a wing commander of your stature and experience. Thank you, sir. But can't we at least discuss the... Now that we have the Kilrathi on the run in both the Gardell and Morpheus systems, I can afford to shift you to the victory in Orsini. Uh, 
What I'm trying to tell you, Colonel, is that things are looking up. The Confederation has been making some very positive strides. Dismissed. Sir, about my request. Yes. But it came as a bit of a surprise to me. As you know, Colonel Devereaux's status is on a need-to-know basis. Your shuttle is waiting. Yes, sir. Despite recent losses in several densely populated sectors, Confederation spokespeople insist that humanity maintains the upper hand in its galactic struggle with the Karathi. However, our sources document a consistent underreporting of Karathi incursions, as well as civilian and industrial losses. There are even reports of confed plans for a doomsday evacuation of Earth, replanting the seeds of humanity in a distant galaxy. The question is, who would go? Who would be left behind? And most importantly, who is making these decisions? Welcome to the TCS Victory, Colonel. Thank you, Captain. Better known as Tin Can Sally. It warms my heart to see you again, Colonel. But I must excuse myself now, as your duty here takes precedence over our catching up on old times. Thank you, Hobbs. We'll talk later. Yes, I know what you're thinking. She's no Concordia. Well, neither is a Concordia anymore. Yes. Terrible loss. My sympathies. However, you're in my home now, and I'll expect you to wipe your feet every time you come in. I've been with the Victory most of my career. I was communications officer during a maiden voyage. Well, sir, I'll admit I wasn't looking forward to the assignment, but now that I see you have a pilot as fine as Roganar Hollis on your crew... Hollis? Yes, he's my second in command. He's not flying? At his request. I know all about his exploits with you, Colonel. But here, no one will fly with a Karathi on his wing. What about his exemplary record? That must stand for something. It was his request. <sighs> Captain Eisen, I'm not going to tell you how to run your ship. But I am going to insist that Hobbs is reinstated to the flight roster immediately. Well, that's admirable, Colonel, but uh, who... Would... I will, sir. I'll fly with him. He's the best wingman I've ever had. Yeah, like a pair of busted wing flaps. But it's great to see you, buddy. And how is the fine pilot and comrade Angel? I don't have a clue. I haven't heard from her in a while. She's on some damn covert off for Tolan. But hey, I got good news for you. I put you back on the fly roster. But I requested... Never mind that. I want you with me on my first mission. Well, 
There are many brave and noble pilots here. Yeah, but when my life's on the line, I want a wingman I can trust. I shall try not to disappoint you, old friend. Lieutenant Rollins, calm exec, welcome aboard. You uh, get the pep talk from the captain yet? <laughs> Something like that. Well, the good news is it won't take too long to shower off the bullshit around here. The Captain Eisen seems to believe in his ship and his crew. And that kind of attitude's good for morale. Yeah, well, you haven't been monitoring transmissions like I have. If you did, you'd jump sector in a nano. Play along with him. <laughs> this guy's a loon. Play, play along with him. Are you saying Command's hiding something from us? Well, I can't say for sure, Colonel. But if you want the straight dope around here, you check in with Radio Rollins. Might even save your life. your week's pay on one hand. Thank you. No. Welcome aboard, sir. You want to play a hand? Now, since you're the rookie on this boat, I'll let you call the game. <sighs> Not much for protocol, are you? No. Formalities tend to be forgotten when you spend most of your time just trying to survive. With little spare time we do have, we fill up with other things besides practicing our salutes. Well, I guess you have to adapt to your surroundings. Don't I know that? It's an arch, really. No wonder they call you Vagabond. Been doing your homework, I see. <laughs> yeah, I've knocked around some. And yet your combat file is surprisingly brief. What's with the big gaps in your bio? Can I help it if Confed decides to blank my data? He's got a point. What's he hiding? He's got a point. <laughs> Sometimes HQ is as big a mystery to me as the enemy. <laughs> we got a lot of good people here, Colonel. Even those of us with incomplete bios. Just give us a chance. goes well for you and all the others on the Concordia. I'm about to set up for a covert operation with Admiral Tolwyn, so I'm afraid we might be apart a little longer. But always remember, just them. Um, I love you. 
I don't have anything better to do, okay? So I pulled into a tight loop, locked onto that cat's tail, fired off a heat seeker, boom! Turned him into kitty litter. It was a... All right. Well, well, <laughs> if it isn't the Colonel. Uh-huh, I'm sorry. I couldn't make your welcoming party. Well, I guess you had more pressing maneuvers to undertake, maniac. When duty calls, I'm there. Women like the smell of success. Uh -huh. You know, I'm surprised you haven't been blown out of the sky by now, maniac. Uh, by friendly fire. Some people appreciate my flying style. I do what's necessary to win, okay? Suppose you're still flying with one eye on the regs manual. I don't take stupid risks. <laughs> yeah, speaking of stupid, I also heard you put Hobbs back on the flight roster. <laughs> my, my. Word travels fast on this tub. Never understood what you saw in that cat. Simple. I need a wingman I can count on. You can't trust someone who will kill their own kind. Who I choose as my wingman is my prerogative. It's a privilege of rank. I'll bet you stay up late nights just polishing it, huh? No, as a matter of fact, I have majors who do that for me. The difference in our rank is a formality. We both know who's better in the cockpit. Yeah, we do. Let me tell you that story again. So. to put that reputation of yours to the test. Confed intelligence tells us that the Karathi presence is growing here in the Osini system. You and your wingman are to fly routine patrol of these three zones, sweep the area of any hostiles you may encounter. Understood? Completely, sir. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Hobbs, you're on my wing for this one. Dismissed, and good luck. Chief Tech Rachel Coriolis, welcome to the victory, Colonel. I heard you're flying with Hobbs on this one. You got a problem with that, Chief? No, sir, not at all. I think it's about time that cat's one hell of a pilot. Here she is, one Hellcat 5. She's prepped, primed, loaded, locked, and ready to kick some ass. Thanks. What about ordnance? 
It's all taken care of. The captain downloads the mission specs to me. I dope out the weapons requirements, so you're set to go. Uh, oh, yeah? In the future, Colonel, you have the option of choosing your own weapons. Or you can trust my judgment and fly with my default loadout. I promise, Colonel, never to disappoint. your status. I'm happy to report that I've suffered no damage. Objectives accomplished. Clearance, TCS Victory. <laughs> Excellent work, Colonel. I can see now that your reputation is well deserved. Keep clear for landing, Colonel. Pretty slick flying, sir. Thanks, Chief. Congratulations, old friend. Yeah, just like old times, huh? I must say, it certainly felt good to be back out there again. My gratitude for your trust in me is endless. Ah, yeah, forget it, Hobbs. You're back where you belong now.
Uh, good day, sir. At ease, Lieutenant. Carry on. Sorry, sir. It's Raquero from the Celeste system. You can tell a lot about a system from its music, you know? Some places it's all minor chords. It makes you just want to run out and do a suicide mission. But this is bright. Heats your blood, makes you want to live a long life. Now, are you a pilot, Lieutenant, or a musician? Oh, I'm a pilot, sir. A pretty good one, too. Check my kill scores. But my family, they made guitars for many generations. I've got one that's almost 200 years old. The sound just keeps getting richer. Someday, I'm going to open a cantina, bring in the best to play that guitar. A place for old fighter jacks like you and me. Well, you better line up some other customers. Might not be many of us left. Oh, yeah. It'll be open to one and all. And me, I'll just sit back, gaze at the beautiful women, and listen to the music. Sounds good to me. He's not focused. Sounds good to me. It's a nice dream, Piquero. Hang on to it. You bet, sir. <laughs> some of these guys, they actually like the killing. Me? I'll just walk away when this is all over. We talk, Lieutenant. Ain't much to talk about, sir. You've flown with it, and you both got the job done. If you're referring to Hobbs... I can't fly with him, sir. If you stay on this ship, you'll have to sooner or later. Don't put me in a position of having to defend him. I won't do it. Why? Let's just say I'm hardwired that way, and nothing you do is gonna change that. Look, I'll try and keep you two separate on offensive assignments. I'm not asking for special favors. We need every good pilot we've got, and just so you know, I'd trust Hobbs with my life. That's your choice. Let's get started, Colonel. Yes, sir. One of our tracking stations report Karathi activity in these regions. I'd like you to run a patrol through there, sweep the areas. The station's report is sketchy. You might encounter some sort of Karathi cap ship. Go to it, Colonel. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Maniac, you're gonna be my wingman. Don't make me regret it. Dismissed, and good luck.
What's your status? <laughs> they can't touch me. Attack. Watch and learn, Colonel. Can attack. Watch and learn, Colonel. Mission objectives accomplished. your status. Smoked him, Colonel. Thanks, Chief. Up a chair. Oh, nice seat. Let me know if I'm out of line here, but the word is there's a test pilot flying in on one of the new X calibers. Is that true? Oh, Commander, don't tell me everything. I hope it's true. I can't wait to get my hands dirty with one of those pups. <laughs> you really like your job, don't you? I just hope the test pilot's not some priest that won't let me touch his equipment. <laughs> I gotta give it to you. You really get to the point. Yeah, well, I never really cared much for gray areas. That's why I do what I do. Either an engine part works or it doesn't. Shane's don't lie. 
as much as people do anyway. It should be a little hard on people. They gotta pass inspection, same as anything else. Of course, I got certain hours for that. And do we keep this schedule posted, Gina, <laughs> do you? <laughs> Only for a select few, sir. discuss your attitude. Seems you're under the impression you're too good for my crew. Now, I suggest you get to know them, start flying with them. Is that clear? The bell, sir. Fine. Let's get down to business, shall we? Confed has a cargo ship loaded with med supplies that must be escorted to this jump point. Now, unfortunately, news of this shipment somehow leaked out. You will undoubtedly come under Karate attack. Good luck, Colonel. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Hobbs. You're on my wing for this one. Dismissed, and good luck. What 
your status. No problems, Colonel. Have sighted enemy craft, Colonel. Break and attack. Engage an enemy now. Thanks for the escort, Colonel. Initiating jump sequence. Mission objective accomplished. What's your status? No problems, Colonel. Need clearance, TCS Victory. Well, I guess the Colonel's on a roll. You're clear to bring it on home. Pretty slick flying, sir. Thanks, Chief.
Sir? They call you Flint, right? So you have looked at the flight roster. I've given it a glance. Then you know there are other pilots here aside from those you've flown with on other missions? <sighs> Wingman assignments were still my prerogative last time I checked. Sir, I come from a long line of fighter pilots. My brother, my father, his father before him. I guess you could say it's in my blood. Your point being? I know your record. I would have at least expected you to take a look at the victories. We've racked up our share of kills. We're not scrubs out here. <laughs> Nobody said you were. I suppose you're afraid I'll peel off the first time we engage. What about the 20th time or the 30th? Will you fatigue even a split second or get a twitchy finger? The wingman I fly with? I need guarantees. Respectfully, sir, if you only fly when there are guarantees, you won't be flying much. Oh, she has a point. Tough luck. I'm the boss here. Oh, she has a point. Do you have any recommendations? Oh, I wouldn't presume to do your job for you, sir. I just work here. <laughs> Let's get down to business, shall we? I'm ready, sir. Convet's civilian transport ship is moving through the Ocini area. She's going to need an escort, especially since Intel reports that Karathia are testing a new cloaked missile. Confed has codenamed these new weapon skippers because they apparently skip in and out of cloak every few seconds to maintain contact with the target. Now, you can see them one second, then they're gone the next. There are a lot of civilian lives at stake here, girl. I'll do my best, Captain. I'm sure you will. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Flint, I want you to be on my wing for this one. Dismissed. Good luck.
What's your status? All systems go. Bogey's in sight. Break and attack. Taking it to him. What's your status? All systems go. Bogey's in sight. 
sight. Break and attack. Taking it to him. Need clearance, TCS Victory. Good news, Colonel. As soon as you found, we're jumping to the Tomeo system, which was reported to be kitty free. And we got the cush job of assisting with the Excalibur test flights. <laughs> Pretty slick flying, sir. Thanks, Chief. Which way of the bridge? Confed's expecting my tech debriefing. I caught some of the incoming radio, Major. How long have you carried that flash handle? Since my first day at Academy. I don't think you should ever apologize for sporting a little style. That baby's still classified, folks. You think you could keep your people at bay a while, Colonel? Christopher Blair. Ah, I read about you back when I was flying with training wheels. Is it true pilots don't get older, they just get better? <sighs> this kid's a sm... That's true. This kid's a sm Only the good ones. We'll see if anyone reads about you someday.
They ought to shoot that kid, you ask me. At least strap him to one of my thrusters on the next mission. As usual, Maniac, your solution to the problem is brainless. Well, me, I, any chance I get, I'm up in the air. I mean, they're going to have to pry my dead carcass out of the cockpit. Oh, stop banging your chest. You're going to bruise it. The Colonel will deal with him. Oh, look, the Colonel is a spineless... I wouldn't finish that sentence if I were you, Major. Uh, we were just speculating on when the new pilot might pull his own weight. Uh-huh. They're right. Play it by the book. They're right. Well, one way or another, we'll find out what Flash is made of. I guarantee you that. Does he pat you like that? I wish they wouldn't send me these Academy hotshots. Youth and wisdom are rarely combined, Captain. It's still your ship, Captain. He answers only to Admiral Talwin. Colonel, we're under attack. Launch all fighters. Red alert, red alert. Launch all fighters. Launch all fighters. This is not a drill. This is not a drill.
Mission objectives accomplished. What's your status? <laughs> they can't touch me. What's your status? Not even a scratch. Need clearance, TCS Victory. Looks like Tomeo ain't as peaceful as HQ thought, huh? Big surprise. You're clear to land. By the way, supposedly we got the best fighter in the galaxy and all it did was collect dust on the flight deck. Flashman just set out that firefight in the barracks. up now, sir. Didn't you hear that scramble alarm? Yeah, that woke me up for a minute. We were under attack, for God's sakes! My talents won't be wasted on your little skirmishes. Yeah, well, people were dying out there, you son of a bitch. It's a war. People die all the time. You've never seen it, have you? Seen what? I've never seen pilots, people you know, getting fried in their own cockpit. I do my part for Confed. I've ever met anyone as frightened as you. You think what you want. I've got my orders. Yeah. And you'll find refuge in that just as long as you can. Excalibur's one hell of a ship, but just like I figured there's a real dick on the other end of the leash. What, he's not letting you do your job? These loving hands, I can tweak anything and make it run a little better. Of course, and a little grease never hurt. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't need me now, but there's gonna come a time when he's flying a paste and glue special and then see what kind of servicing he gets. I bet you'd like to take her out for a shakedown spin. You know, if you swing by at the right time, you just might find the key in the ignition. Whew. I'd love to stay clear of trouble. Whew. I'd love. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've done any joyriding. Well, then you owe it to yourself. quickly on this. The only reason we aren't under attack right now is because the Karathi have bigger fish to fry. And they've targeted Tamayo too. The transports are already moving in. Now, if you and your wing can cut through the fighter cover, we might have a shot of destroying those transports. Now, we're going to need a lot of firepower, and we're going to need it fast. Scramble everybody. I want those flight decks empty. Right away, sir. You'll never guess what's gassed up and ready to go.
Break and attack. Engage the enemy now. What's your status? I'm happy to report that I've suffered no damage. What's your status? All systems go. Sighted enemy craft, Colonel. Objectives accomplished. TCS victory. Now we know what that machine can really do. You're clear to land, Colonel.
are way out of line, Colonel. Somebody had to step up to the plate, mister. You think Confed wants some old man risking their state-of-the-art test vehicles, huh? Where do you learn to spew all this crap? Doesn't the Academy teach kids to fly anymore? Listen, old-timer, I don't have to take this from you. I think it's time to teach you a lesson. Meet me at the simulator at 0900, and we'll see who knows how to fly. There's time to teach this punk a lesson. On one condition. If you lose, you put in for a transfer to combat pilot status. Aboard the victory. If that'll make you feel better. I'd ask you to shine my shoes if I win, but uh, I like my shoes too much. I guess you two are itching to go at each other. Well, sir, I just got... As a rule, I'm not too big on these needless displays of macho crap. You're taking a big risk morale-wise. And if you lose, you won't be too popular around here, so I'm gonna give you a word of advice, Colonel. Kick the little twerp's ass. Yes, sir. I'll make this as quick as possible.
Next thing you'll be flying is a wheelchair, Grandpa. Line is a wheelchair, Grandpa. Guess we got ourselves another combat pilot, but it's a whole nother thing fighting the Karathi out there. Resources are utterly depleted. It remains a source of slave labor, but the population has never been particularly malleable. Slaves we have no shortage of. The Terrans want this system, they shall have it. Nevertheless, my liege, I bristle at the thought of certain. They will call it. Oh, what is that strange word they have? Surrender. No, it is not that. This system shall serve as a message to the apes. Since it is no longer of use to us, we shall render it useless to them as well. As always, my age, a wise choice.
I'd like to apologize for some of the things I said. Some? Well, I still think I could have beat you two out of three. Care to go at it again? No. From now on, I'll prove it to you out there. That is, if you figure I'm good enough to be your wingman. You're on the roster. You'll get your shot, same as everyone. Thank you. Colonel, you know the Kiorathi may be using bioweapons here. First time I've heard of it. Kiorath has been preparing these kind of weapons for years. If they're not deployed here, they will be somewhere else. Would you mind telling me how it is you know so much about the Kiorathi? It doesn't matter if you believe me. She knows something. Well, that's where you're wrong. It does matter. It's just that someday I'd like to get the rest of the story. I flew here once. A lot of places to hide in this system. This your first time? This is my home system. My father taught me everything he knew about flying here. He'd been planning to pass it all on to my brother, but Kilrathi had other plans. I'm sorry. It's all right. Everyone's lost someone, right? They don't give you medals for it. You haven't been back since? Mm -mm. Well, which one was home? Uh, that one. It was a beautiful world. Dark purple nights and burnt moons that chased each other across the sky. The insects would sing, different serenades depending on how close the moons were. Yeah. My brother and I would stay up listening. Do you remember the time before the war? I don't let myself. Sir, I have scores to settle here. I can't be on the sidelines for these engagements. I need to be part of what goes down. Give her a shot. I can't risk it with her. Give her a shot. Flint, when you fly, are you gonna be my wingman or your brother's wingman? Let's get down to business, shall we? I'm ready, sir. The Karathi intentions in this area remain unclear. While we continue to gather intelligence, your task will be to corral the cats wherever possible. We wish particularly to shut off their access to the populated planets and this asteroid field. Let's try to put these Karathi raiders out of business permanently. Hmm? Ready to go, sir. I like that enthusiasm. Dismissed. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Flash, you're gonna be my wingman. Watch and learn. Dismissed, and good luck. Thank you. 
What's your status? Not a scratch. Can attack and watch this action. What's your status? 
not a scratch. Ah, look what I see. Break and attack. Now yeah, watch this action. Take an attack and watch this action. Can attack and watch this action. Okay. <laughs> 
Whitgert. Say good night, Kitty. You are worthless for the young and like of me. Get a guy. I just dumb. Mission objective accomplished. Need clearance, TCS Victory. Ah, feels great kicking some free butt in this system. We're moving on to Lakonda 4. Intel says the Karathi presence there has increased. Hey, sir, I'm getting reports that Flint was a little wild out there. You been picking up pointers from old mania, huh? <laughs> At any rate, you're clear to land. Mm -hmm. smoked him, Colonel. Thanks, Chief. parts before, right? Word is the Kilrathi have let the system pretty dry over the years. Lokanda's always been hotly contested. A few months ago, I heard stories about some backwater system the Kilrathi had under siege for months. But after they cleaned it out, they didn't just move on. They dusted it with some new biological weapon. The whole system's supposedly a total biohazmat. Really ugly. No one can get near it. Rumor has it, Confed's quarantined that system. Nobody even talks about it. And there's nothing to worry about. He might be right. Nothing the cats do surprises me anymore. But if we do our job right, we're not gonna have to worry about that kind of thing. to raid these planets. Yeah, I know. It puzzles me, these reports that the Kilrathi are surrendering the system. Surrender. Though I know the word in your language, I still fail in truly grasping it. I cannot guess at all what my one-time comrades might do. And Kilrathi are most dangerous when they are unpredictable. Let's get started, Colonel. Yes, sir. We've still got more questions than answers on uh, Karathi operations here. Some of the Karathi forces are pulling out, but other elements are closing in on the Condo 4. Intel thinks they've got warheads tipped with a new kind of bioweapon capable of spreading a pandemic over the whole planet within minutes. If Intel's correct, the half-life of this virus is over 500 years. Colonel, we can't let a single warhead slip through and strike the planet. If the warheads bio, the civilians of Lakonda 4 will, well, they'll die slow deaths from a ravaging disease and all we'll be able to do is pull out of here as fast as we can. Good luck, son.
So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Mikado, I like you on my wing for this one. Dismissed, and good luck. Objectives accomplished. TCS victory. Sir, they're going to be naming babies after you on Lokanda 4. While you were out there, Intel did confirm that the Karathi warhead loadouts were biohazard in nature. You're clear. Oh, wait a minute, sir. Captain Ison's on the comm. Hello. We've got a situation in the loadout reaches of Lokanda 4. Lieutenant Robin Peters has ignored our return to ship order. She's gone renegade. Appears to be pursuing her own private war. Can you risk bringing her back? I'm going after her, Captain.
Here. Big NO, sir. Attack my target. Affirmative. What's your status? I'm fine. Objectives accomplished. Need clearance, TCS Victory. Congratulations on roping her in, sir. First a whole planet and then a pilot? I'd give you a promotion if I could. You're cleared, Colonel.
You might have died out there chasing after me. I might have. Well, I guess the captain ordered you. No. That was my call to make. Well, then I guess I should be impressed. I've never been very good at saying thank you. Hey, you're welcome. I want you to understand. <sighs> we don't fly suicide missions. We fight this war to live, not to die. You've got to fly with your head, Flint, not your heart. You've never done that, sir, fly with your heart. The day I do that, I expect a stiff dressing down, mister. That's an order. Sir, my father didn't read his children bedtime stories. He read to us from the regs manuals. I know there are certain actions necessary. Give her a break. Ground her. Give her a break. Book regs are not war regs. If this were peacetime, I'd ground you faster than a tachyon. Now that's an indulgence we can't afford. But don't make one of us come after you again. That, sir, would be an indulgence. The assault has taken the lives of thousands Still buying the fantasy that we're winning the war? Why the hard on for the opposite take? Because you'd have to be blind not to see that things are going bad and getting worse. Excuse me. Fact, we haven't had shore leave in months. Fact, all we do is move from one defensive mission to another. Fact, our entire force is constantly in retreat. Now, is that just my imagination or is the entire war effort unraveling before our eyes? Fact. We have a communications officer aboard with far too much time on his hands, dangerously spreading fear, uncertainty, and doubt throughout the ship. From now on, mister, you spout your theories to anyone. I'll have you reassigned to waste recycling. I don't know whether to thank you or curse you for winning us Flash on a permanent basis. <laughs> a little of both, I guess. I wish I had more pilots like you, Colonel. Might make the war in sooner. I'm especially glad that you haven't let the victory cramp your style any. Thank you, sir. Let's get started, Colonel. Yes, sir. We've got a simple job ahead of us. We've got control of the sector base and jump point. The Karathi want that control. 
Let's keep them at bay, gentlemen. We can't give up ground here. Give it your best, Colonel. Dismissed. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Vagabond, I want you as my wingman. Dismissed, and good luck. What's your status? Not a scratch on me. We got company. Break and attack. Here we go.
TCS victory. They're having a party in your honor down at the Black Main Base, Colonel. You're clear to land. Pretty slick flying, sir. Thanks, Chief. Colonel, uh, can we chat off the record? Don't we usually? Yeah. It's one of the things that I like about you. And the fact that I like you is why I want to say this. Um... Go ahead. You've got a look in your eyes that I've seen before. I had this fellow see, and he went out one day and saw his wingman get fried. Started to blame himself, and no matter what I said or anybody else, it didn't matter. A few days after that, he took out a thunderbolt and just kept going. He uh, hit a jump point just as the Kilrathi were coming through. There were a lot of fireworks. He might still be out there as far as I know. They never found him, not even a trace. And that look in your eyes is the same look that he had just before he went out on that mission. Do you want to talk about it? She understands. It's none of her business. She understands. I had someone too. I keep having these nightmares. I can't get them out of my head. Maybe she ditched her craft in some neutral territory. Maybe she found out a way to sidestep the war entirely, but I kept thinking, one way or another, I'd hear. I haven't. Hey, maybe, uh, maybe my guy and your gal got together out there. At least they'd be alive. Yeah. But then I'd have to kill him when he came back. <laughs> Lover boy himself. I saw you putting the uh, moves on everybody's favorite little grease monkey. Jealous? Oh, I don't think getting into her pants requires any high risk maneuvering. He's jealous. It's none of his business. He's jealous. Well, just the fact, the fact that it takes maneuvering leaves you breathing my engine exhaust, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, I've dated all you girls.
Listen up, Colonel. As usual, we have our work cut out for us. No doubt, sir. Now that we've broken the Karathi siege on the base, the supply ships can finally move in. We need to escort the incoming convoys and get them to the base without any dents. That means a little housekeeping to clear the way. We're doing good. Let's keep it up. Ready to go, sir. I like that enthusiasm. Dismissed. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Cobra, I want you on my wing for this one. Dismissed, and good luck. What's your status? I'm just fine, sir. <laughs> Thanks for the escort, Colonel. 
TCS victory. Colonel, or should I call you Houdini? You got a standing invite from Black Main Base to join them for steak and eggs now that they're able to unload those supply convoys. You're clear to land, sir. Feels good what we've been doing here. Why are the stakes less personal in this system? I hate to admit it. Those are real people down there, just as real as the people I knew back in the Lokanda system. I can't say they're as real to me, though. I just don't have an image of them in my mind. You'd burn out very quickly if you did. You know, sometimes I hate myself because I actually feel lucky there is a war. I knew, I mean, I know someone who feels that way. She lives to fight the good fight. For me, it's the flying. I love the purity. Nothing holding me back. Only pilots know that feeling. convoy coming in. If we can get it through the blockade, the base will have a chance of defending itself. And we must protect this convoy at all costs. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Cobra, I want you on my wing for this one. Dismissed, and good luck.
What's your status? I'm just fine, sir.
Status. I'm just fine, sir. Thanks for the escort, Colonel. Mission objectives accomplished. What's your status? No problems, Colonel. Clearance, TCS Victory. Black Mains is a take from here, Colonel. Our next stop is downtown Kilra. There's something close to it. You're cleared to land. Great mission. Thanks. Way to go, sir. Outstanding. <laughs> Not now, partner. All you jocks want a recon work so bad, now you got it, which means us grunts gotta bust our asses for you. Time. I don't recall ever seeing that before. That smile on your face? It looks good. Oh, I can smell them, sir. Now that we're in their territory, all those Kiorathis waiting to die in my hands. Well, being on the offensive seems to have brought you out of that shell of yours. I didn't become a pilot just to babysit bases. She's right. She's out. She's right. We're gonna kick some ass here.
Come on, try your luck, sir. Uh, don't I get to cut the deck at least? You'd be surprised how many rookies just ante up and uh, look shocked when they lose their first pot. Well, they get what they deserve then. I hear we're going after a garrison. I haven't been briefed. It may not seem like it, but my wheels are always turning. I fly better when I know what the real objectives are. HQ's got a bad habit of labeling every target a military installation, even when they ain't. I like to be real sure. He's worried about nothing. We're just pilots. He's worried about nothing. Hey, we're the good guys, remember? We don't go after innocents. It's the difference between us and them. Well, it's like the cards, see? A lot of people, they never ask questions about what's dealt. Once, sir, we're actually taking it to the cats. Well, what do you think, Lieutenant? Maybe we have a chance in this war after all? Could be. But I wouldn't make plans for a victory party just yet. space is because of your flying. You've done the victory proud. Now, as you may have heard on the grapevine, we're here to destroy this system's military garrison. We're going to have to fight through several waypoints. The enemy's spread out with patrols everywhere. Any ship that can escape to the jump point will be able to alert the rest of the Karathi to our presence here. And that would mean we'd have to scrap this entire offensive. Up. You need to kneel every last one of them, Colonel. Consider them nailed, sir. God, I love that boy, Spunk. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Hobbs, you're on my wing for this one. Dismissed, and good luck.
Break and attack. Engage the enemy now. Your status. I'm happy to report that I've suffered no damage. Sighted enemy craft, Colonel. Break an attack. Engage an enemy now.
Break and attack. Engage the enemy now. Mission objectives accomplished. What's your status? I'm happy to report that I've suffered no damage. Need clearance, TCS Victory. You wasted every last one of them, sir. That's what I like to see, cats pushing up daisies. You got clearance. Pretty slick flying, sir. Thanks, Chief.
Let me guess. You're an RV, right? RV, sir? <laughs> Recon virgin. First time behind enemy lines. I think you always fight a little harder when you're on your own turf. Stop worrying, Vaquero. War or is hell, buddy. Stop worrying, Vaquero. Well, enemy lines are just squiggles drawn on the map, Vaquero. They don't mean squad otherwise. Don't worry about it. It is good the missions we now fly. At last, we take the battle to the enemy. Well, a little rocking and rolling is good for the soul, I guess. Strange that despite the skill and courage demanded in flying, a part of the Karathi spirit is never entirely satisfied by interstellar combat. You like it up close and personal? Mm. We are taught how to use these claws even before we can speak or walk. But this seems savage to you, primitive. Killing is killing, hot-blooded or cold. You're one of the best pilots we've got, buddy. Don't start second-guessing what you do. Let's get down to business, shall we? I'm ready, sir. This is the kind of mission I take special pride in. We're going to play possum inside the nebula here. Karathi used it to screen convoys coming in and out of this system, and the longer we can stay undetected, the more damage we can do. Again, we can't let a single one of their ships escape, and I don't have to tell you the kinds of hazards you'll face trying to navigate in a nebula. Only the best flyers can make the necessary adjustments, Colonel. I have faith you'll be one of them. I won't disappoint, sir. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Flash, you're gonna be my wingman. Watch and learn. Dismissed, and good luck.
I see. Break and attack. And watch this action. status not a scratch
What's your status? Not a scratch. Breaking attack. Watch this action. accomplished. Mission. Way to go, Sir Outstanding. <laughs> Good to see you. You're flying high today. Well, where it is, things are looking up for the good guys. <laughs> you know, when I was growing up, my father taught us about other campaigns, other wars. Weapons keep changing, but we can still learn from the past. Yeah. Take the Trojan Wars. That conflict also lasted generations. Well, that's the one that ended with the Trojan Horrors, right? According to legend, but the important thing is that it did end. <laughs> it's good to know conflicts like this don't last forever. It just seems like it. 
for the weary, Colonel. Let's get to it. As you wish, Captain. We're packing our bags, getting the hell out of here, Colonel. Intel has a hunch the Karathia are on to us. Get this old barge out of this nebula and to the jump point, OK? And let's try and keep a low profile. I hate long goodbyes. Go to it, Colonel. So these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Maniac, you're gonna be my wingman. Don't make me regret it. Dismissed, and good luck. Attack. Watch and learn, Colonel. More kitty litter. <laughs> I'm hot today. attack. Watch and learn, Colonel. Now, but it appears that the Karate have somehow closed off the jump point. 
How can they do that? I mean, that's not possible. We're heading to what navigation thinks an alternative jump point. We're downloading those coordinates to you now. Keep your fingers crossed that Nav's found us a door that isn't closed. Meanwhile, keep the enemy off of the base. Mission objectives accomplished. Need clearance, TCS Victory. That spook you like it does me, sir. I mean, if the crowd can close up jump points whenever they want, I mean. I don't even want to think about it. We're just lucky navigation was on the ball. Nice job, Colonel. We cleared the land. Great mission. Thanks. Way to go, sir. Outstanding. <laughs> where our masking techniques cannot function. 
That's more. <clears throat> we learned only after it was too late. The heart of the tiger was one of the carrier's protectors. The Emperor must not know of the success of this Terran incursion. My thoughts exactly, my liege. The Emperor, of course, must stay focused on the large adventure, our ultimate triumph. Which the heart of the tiger continues to jeopardize. I have waited many, many years, and now it is time. The trigger. An excellent plan, my liege. Prepare to send the message. the aerial system like the back of your paw. And you claim you had no clue of what was waiting for us? No more than you, Lieutenant. You're a liar. Play along with her. Stick up for Hobbs. Lieutenant! Excuse me. Colonel Hobbs' loyalty is not to be questioned again. Is that understood? systems have been jammed. And guess who's behind it? Come on, Lieutenant. Don't tell me you can't do anything. I'm trying, sir, but it looks like some kind of video virus, or should I say worm. Ah, this looks like a major debug. I have read your Terran Bible with its predictions that there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. It is about to be fulfilled. We will tear your tongues out. We will scoop out your brains. That ain't all they'll do if they ever get their paws on us. You will be prime examples to the other races in the galaxy and clownish baboons for our amusement. For baboons, we sure have been getting our shots in, Senor Gato. Your race will suffer a thousand torments and more. Do not be emboldened by the presence of the heart of the tiger among you. Colonel Blair will be reduced to a pile of entrails. I will see to it personally that you pay for every noble Kilrathi who has died at your hands in combat. I leave you and your miserable comrades to contemplate your ignoble futures. <laughs> I didn't know you and he had a history. Yeah, Thrakath and I've gone a few rounds. Seems to have a special nickname for you. It's news to me, Captain. An honor I could do without. You ask me, the cats are running a little scared. Uh, perhaps our incursion into Ariel has something to do with that. Hobbs! Kerati believe always that war it's psychological. It is a contest of wills as much as women. Talking trash is all I call it. It is the politics of superiority. Or perhaps one of my race's more admirable social constructs. Social construct. A pack of animals with admirable social constructs. Captain, we have a crafty force heading our way. I think they came through that last jump point. It doesn't look like they're running scared, sir. I'll see you in the briefing room. Ain't we the lucky ones? 
First a nebula, now an asteroid belt. I mean, we seem to be flying into one damn obstacle course after another. Well, look on the bright side, maniac. Which is? Rag him. At least you'll be able to find something to hide behind. It's funny. Close the goddamn jump points? What's next? I, I mean, they got us between their paws. It's just a question of time now. I don't know they can close the jump points. Theory has it they just cloaked one. To think, the only reason I'm here is because I lost a goddamn bet. See where shooting off your mouth gets you. not pretty much stock in all that hot air the Thrak calf decided to blow our way? No, sir. Good. Headquarters pretty sure the Karathi have a special device in area that enabled them to use nebula gases to throw a curtain over that jump point. Now, Confed thinks Ariel is the only system where they have this capability, since that's where they carried on so much of their convoy traffic. Well, that's good news. I don't feel like running into many more closed doors. Well, obviously the Prince's transmission was a good indication they're coming after us hot and heavy. So, we're going to split from our escorts once we enter this nebula, and you're going to protect these two destroyers. Navigation has located a new jump point inside the nebula, which we can use for our retreat once we've taken out enough of our pursuers. Give it your best, Colonel. Dismissed. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Flint, I want you to be on my wing for this one. Dismissed, and good luck.
objectives accomplished. Need clearance, TCS Victory. And that'll teach the rack hat to crash bid us. You're clear to land, Colonel. Pretty slick flying, sir. Thanks, Chief. My father holds very definite ideas about flying under these conditions. He feels you can always find a way to fling the obstacles back in the enemy's face. I got a hollow mail trans from him after Rollins got communications back up. What's your father flying these days? Oh, only a desk, unfortunately. It's tough getting old. He's better off if there. It's tough getting old. Hmm. But he wishes he was behind the stick. Oh, you better believe it. It's like an addiction, isn't it? I mean, once you get hooked. You know, I'd like to meet him someday. It's guys like him who really wrote the book on how to fight this war. 
Yeah, well, he'd like to meet you. I told him I was flying with you, and he was very impressed. Really? Thanks. Listen up, Colonel. As usual, we have our work cut out for us. No doubt, sir. You see these Karathi fighters that have suddenly left the main flock? I think they figured out where the jump point is, and they plan on getting out of the nebula radio shroud to sound off about it to the main fleet command. You are to stop every last one of them from getting out and being able to send a clear trans. Good luck, Colonel. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Vagabond, I want you as my wingman. Dismissed, and good luck. Breaking attack. Here we go. Breaking attack. Here we go. You have to take this and the top monkeys.
some help, buddy. attack. Here we go.
some help, buddy. I have failed my race. Nailed that murder. Mission objectives accomplished. TCS victory. You just mowed those cats down, sir. Guess the rest of the litter ain't gonna find out about our new jump point. Caps, it's time we get out of here. You are cleared to land. smoked him, Colonel. Thanks, Chief. Let's get down to business, shall we? I'm ready, sir. Get us to the new jump point, Colonel. Word is Confed's got some other plans for us, and it'd be a shame to disappoint them. But since we're moving such a large force, you can bet the Karathi will want to give us one of their noisy send-offs. Good luck, Colonel. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Hobbs, you're on my wing for this one. Dismissed, and good luck. Breaking attack. Engage an enemy now.
right target. Affirmative, Colonel. Breaking attack. Engage an enemy now. What's your status? I'm happy to report that I've suffered no damage. attack. Engage an enemy now.
Mission objectives accomplished. Need clearance, TCS Victory. You're cleared, Colonel. Cap says to inform you we got company coming. Uh, I sure hope it's young, female, and pretty. <laughs> Pretty slick flying, sir. Thanks, Chief. A privilege having you aboard, Admiral. Pleasure, Captain. Thank you. Sir. Ah, well, looks like a good bunch. Well, the legendary Colonel. It's good to see you again. Thank you, Admiral. Score points with the Admiral. Ready to add to that legend now that you're here? The same old Colonel Blair. <laughs> ah, I've brought my own cook on board, so. Let's see if we can get some decent food. seem like old home week to you. First the Kilrothy Prince, and now Admiral Tolwyn. Who'll be next? Sorry. I know who you're thinking about. Do you? You must be a mind reader. No, I just know more about your history than you might be aware of. She's a colonel in covert ops, right? How did you become such a student of history? That was my weapon growing up. Being the girl, I had to have something to get an edge. And one thing I know about my history is that you and the Admiral have crossed paths more than a few times. She can see Tallwin's a jerk. Bumped heads is more like it. And he knows history, too. Plus every rule and regulation. Yeah, he just doesn't know the human heart. I can't argue with you there, Flint. Welcome, Colonel. 
As you may or may not know, we are currently en route to the Torgo system, where we will rendezvous with destiny. Gentlemen, I give you the Confederation's finest achievement, the behemoth. After a decade of secret research and development, our greatest minds have created the device that will spell doom for the Kilrathi. Behemoth is a series of linked, superconducting energy amplification conduits, focusing an output of 500 million gigawatts into one lancing point. Any target at the end of that point is destroyed. Even a planet? Yes, Captain, even a planet. We would have liked another year or two for testing and development, but unfortunately, circumstances have forced me to deploy the weapon now. And might I ask why? Admiral. Well, you should know the answer to that more than anyone else, Colonel. The classified and bitter truth is that Confed has been losing the war this past year. If the current trend continues, the Kilrathi will be walking on the Earth in six months, maybe less. So, the behemoth must be pressed into service earlier than anticipated. Because of this accelerated deployment, the ship's defensive systems are, well, how can I put this, uh, somewhat incomplete. There are a few uh, soft spots located here and here. Where the shields are thin, there's been no time to complete keel mounts or laser turrets. I expect you to be especially aware of these areas, Colonel. It'll be your job to protect and defend this ship. This should be looked upon as the Confederation's last ditch effort to win the war outright. Yes? Yes, thank you, I understand, thank you. Well, the download is complete. We have arrived at Torgo, gentlemen, where I had hoped for a nice smooth rendezvous with the behemoth, but as is their wont, the Kilrathi have spoiled the party. Colonel? This is undoubtedly the most important mission you've ever flown in your life. You must defend the behemoth at all costs. I want a magnum launch. All fighters up. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Breaking attack. Taking it to him.
Target. What's your status? All systems go. What's your status? Not a scratch. Sure you some help, buddy. Bogey's in sight. You better take your friend and talk on case. Breaking attack. Taking it to him. Thank you. 
What's your status? Now to scratch on me. What's your status? No damage yet, Colonel. Need clearance, TCS Victory. Colonel, we've just confirmed my belief that you and the Victory were the correct choices for this undertaking. The behemoth requires some light maintenance prior to moving out, so we won't be leaving this system just yet. They took some hits out there. My, my, Grandma, what a big gun you have. <laughs> they don't get any bigger. That's what they all say. Talk is cheap. Maybe you haven't noticed, but the shields on this thing are really thin. I guess it sucks up so much juice that the usual standard equipment gets shortchanged. That's probably in the specs for next year's model. Yeah, and Christmas tree lights too. <laughs> I suppose this wouldn't interest you. Coded transmissions? Yeah, about a million of them. And they're weird, too. Not the usual codings. I can't even begin to break them. Lieutenant, we have an admiral on board. Now, his transmissions are supposed to be coded. Colonel, I've been around high rankers before. This is definitely different. <sighs> Damn Tolwyn. He's always got something up his sleeve. Are you sure about this? <laughs> Sir, I know there are times when you think I'm a little crazy, but I do know my job. Well, keep me posted. Yes, sir. Local hero. Well, I must say that so far I'm very impressed you haven't lost your touch. May we uh, speak privately, Admiral? Get it off your chest, Colonel. Sir, it's a little unclear to me precisely what your status is aboard this ship. Look. I took the helm of the Behemoth Project ten years ago. And there's no intention to usurp command? <laughs> I'd be a little more careful regarding my choice of words, Colonel. Admirals, by definition, do not usurp. 
I thought at long last we'd achieved a measure of respect for each other. Obviously, I was wrong. You may realize by now that your assignment here was a little more than merely fortuitous. We're headed to kill Ra with that thing, aren't we? Well, what would you aim for if you had the biggest gun in the universe? It might be getting back to normal around here. Hmm. Can't say it'll ever be normal while the Admiral's on board. It takes a certain sort to be an Admiral, me. I'll take guiding just one ship. The day-to-day -day successes are more tangible. Let's get to it, Colonel. The behemoth's not ready to move out yet, and we need to keep the Karathi away from it. Mind these four jump points and make sure that they take out all comers. We'll eventually need this fifth point for our exit with the behemoth. Clear? So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Cobra? I want you on my wing for this one. Dismissed, and good luck. Your status. I'm just fine, sir. Enemy sighted, Colonel. Break and attack. Going out. Thank <laughs> you. 
proceed to next waypoint. Breaking attack. Going after. Proceed to next waypoint. Enemy sighted, Colonel. Breaking attack. Going after. Proceed to next waypoint. Enemy sighted, Colonel. Breaking attack. Going after.
my crap! Mission objectives accomplished. Need clearance, TCS Victory. Well, yeah, keeping this ray gun scratch free is getting to be a pain in the butt, eh, Colonel? But I guess the behemoth lives to see another day. You're clear to land. Pretty slick flying, sir. Thanks, Chief. We've got the behemoth repaired. We got a few of her up, and believe me, she's got a mighty big thirst. Intel has informed us an enemy tanker convoy is traveling through this asteroid belt. Now, you need to disable a minimum of three of their tankers. Our fleet will enter the belt through this jump point. The behemoth will always be about four minutes behind you, so that's all the time you'll have to take out whatever the Karath is in your way. You leave immediately. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Mikado, I'd like you on my wing for this one. Dismissed, and good luck.
disabled. Time to see your bed, kitty. Transport disabled. Transport disabled. Mission objectives accomplished. TCS victory. Hey, Colonel. How come our side never thought of rock ships? Anyway, the Admiral sends us congrats, and you're cleared to land. Because we're finally blowing this popsicle stand, and we're taking that big mom out for a test drive. <laughs> Pretty slick flying, sir. Thanks, Chief. Don't say a thing. Heard you got chewed out by the Admiral himself. Yeah, well, I guess I should wear that as a badge of honor. According to the Admiral, sloppy dress means sloppy work. Well, excuse me for not heading to the cleaners every time I swap out a part. Well, he sticks real close to the regs. Yeah, well, after this war is over, I'm gonna make it my mission to loosen the screws on every moving part belonging to guys like him. Yeah, well, save a screwdriver for me, will you? Want to buy a ticket, sir? To what? Opening night party of my cantina. People are saying the war is almost over. 
Once we pull the trigger on that bohemian thing, it'll be hasta la vista, los gatos. There's been a change of command, Colonel. No disrespect intended, sir, but why am I not surprised? Well, as we move closer to the deployment of the behemoth, I decided to assume command personally. I hold the fate of the Confederation in my hands. Well, let's get down to business, shall we? We are about to enter the Loki system where we will test the behemoth on Loki 6, home to a small Kilrathi military base. Loki 6 is a unique planet in that it orbits a quasar. As you know, the quasar blocks out all stellar communications. So the base will be unable to call for help. But by the time the Kilrathi sent out a ship to investigate, we shall be pulling up just outside downtown Kilra. But before we can test fire the behemoth, a little house cleaning is in order. On this mission, I'd like you to sweep out Loki 6's surrounding environs. Don't leave any strays out there. We don't need anyone bothering us when we line up the weapon for its first test. Got it? Understood, Admiral. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Hobbs, you're on my wing for this one. Dismissed, and good luck. Okay. 
out here. I have dispatched an enemy. 
D clearance, TCS victory. Looks like smooth sailing for the big B, Colonel, you're cleared to land. You really took some hits out there. Looks like Tolwyn's about to steamroll her another career. I told the captain to look out, but would he listen? <laughs> Maniac, when have you known someone to actually take your advice? I just told him I speak from experience. You poisoned Tolwyn against me from the start. He's had it out for me ever since. I've got news for you. Tolwyn had nothing to do with your lack of promotion. Your flying style took care of that for you. Tolwyn doesn't even know you're alive. Oh, that's what you think. Everybody knows about the maniac. Everybody. How many people here know about the maniac? Oh, what, nobody? Sir. You seem awfully keyed up. I'd ease back on the throttle a little if I were you. We're a long way from Kilra. Not a moment too soon, I can tell you that. <sighs> you know, I don't think I've seen anyone as anxious to waste the enemy as you. Oh, I'd blast planet after planet if it would breathe the galaxy of Kiorathi. There's no justification for their existence. And that includes your buddy, Hobbs. Jesus, Lieutenant, it's like an endless loop with you. You have no clue. So enlighten me. They took me when I was 10. Who, the Kilrathi? Slave labor camp. I escaped when I was 20. <sighs> must have been. You have no idea what it must have been. I saw things. The psych guy spent two years trying to pry things out of my head after I escaped. But you can't wipe it all. There's a little bit of Kilrathe prowling around inside of me, and I can't get it out. One day, there won't be any human left. We're gonna get him. You'll see. Keep telling me that, Colonel. Even if it's not true. Speak frankly, Admiral. Well, I've never known you to do otherwise. With all due respect, sir, I don't think your assumption of command has done ship morale much good. I'm not really interested in public opinion polls on my tactical decisions. And as I recall, you weren't particularly enthused about your own transfer to this vessel when it happened. That was before I was acquainted with its crew, sir. Ah, yes. A fine quality, your transfer of loyalties. Project Behemoth needs a guardian angel. I've been with it since its inception. The choice was clear-cut and indisputable. 
We all have just one superior, Colonel. The progress of the war. Yes, sir. Colonel, you shouldn't be this far away from the fray. War is everywhere, Captain. No escaping it. I'm not a captain anymore. First time I've been like that since... I don't think I was even shaving when I first took the helm. What am I without a ship, Colonel? Captain. They can promote us, demote us, bounce us all over the galaxy. There's only one thing that matters. That first time you shaved, you could look yourself in the mirror. You can still do that now. This is a simple one, Colonel. Cover me while I fire the behemoth. That sounds simple enough, Admiral. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Maniac, you're gonna be my wingman. Don't make me regret it. Dismissed, and good luck. attack. Watch and learn, Colonel.
Mission objectives accomplished.
need clearance, TCS Victory. Wow. Give the new meaning to Big Bang, don't it, Colonel? You're cleared to land because we're heading out of here and we're putting this bucket to kill them. Pretty slick flying, sir. Thanks, Chief. It's been many years since I have been this near to kill Ra. I'd understand if you had mixed feelings about the behemoth and what it's about to do. It has been a long war that has turned all of us inside out. There will be Kilrathi that survive, and when the war is over, they'll understand what you did. No one ever will truly understand what I did. But your loyalty has meant much to me, my friend. This is it, Colonel. I've been waiting ten years for this glorious moment. We're about to hit the jump point. From there, it's straight to Kilra. Protect the behemoth at all costs. The future of the Confederation depends on it. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Flash, you're gonna be my wingman. Watch and learn. Dismissed, and good luck.
Break and attack. Now watch this action. me, monsieur. Disintegrate me so I might join my comrades. Disintegration is not for you. Your fate will be different. The human cannot appreciate the honor that I am about to bestow her. She is not only a great warrior, but her lair mate is the heart of the tiger. You have slain many of my finest fighters during your career. You have earned this.
am returning command of the victory to you, Captain. Yes, sir. They knew where we were going and when. They knew exactly where to strike. I have every reason to suspect you have a leaky ship, Captain. Respectfully, sir. I resent such innuendos concerning my crew's loyalty. Battles are won or lost. There are never any guarantees. And at the time, she was your ship, sir. Fight well, Captain. The struggle will only get harder. You could use some anesthetic. You know, it's kind of spooky the way the Kilrathi zeroed in on that soft spot. I guess uh, the Rycap zoomed in on yours, too. I feel for you, Colonel. Do you want some company? She's okay. Just company. better put that away before I put it away. Hey, kick in a bulkhead or something. Get it out somehow, okay? Don't wait till you get in the cockpit. Red alert! Red alert! All pilots up! We are being attacked. This is not a drill.
attack my target. Affirmative, Colonel. Target destroyed. my target. Affirmative, Colonel. my target. Affirmative, Colonel. Thank <laughs> you. 
status. Only minor damage to report to Colonel. My target. Affirmative, Colonel. Lift radio silence. Affirmative, Colonel. Thank <laughs> you. 
attack my target. Affirmative, Colonel. Mission objectives accomplished. What's your status? Only minor damage to report, Colonel. <laughs> Sighted enemy craft, Colonel. Break an attack. Engage an enemy now. my target. Affirmative, Colonel.
need clearance, TCS Victory. <sighs> Tied at a bullet that time, sir. You cleared to land. better days still the way you've been holding up considering you've really been showing us what you're made of yeah well thanks Flynn and I think about how stupidly I acted back on Lokanda look I'm sorry about Angel everyone on board is she must have been something Sensors could track movement in every compartment, right? Well, yeah, uh, I guess, yeah, supposedly, I guess that's possible. Um, I'd have to do some fancy bite surgery. Then do it. Make that paranoia of yours pay off for once. That would be a change for the lieutenant. You want to fill me in? Yeah, uh, those crazy coded transmissions are still being sent, sir. Cobra here, she thinks hot. I know what Cobra thinks. Sir, they were waiting for the behemoth. They know what we're gonna do even before we do. And I can't believe you're still sympathetic towards a Kirate, not after. She's got a point. Look, I'll admit it. It seems like we've been having more than just a little bad luck lately. Now I want you to keep working on those decodes. Yes, sir. And Hobbs, sir? Right now, I'd say none of us is above suspicion. all the fun. I wish I'd been there. I'm tired of flying a desk. I hear you had a little run-in with uh, Thrakath. Yes, I did. You son of a bitch. It pains me that you had to find out that way. How long have you known? Oh. Since the Concordia went down. Uh, Paladin's on my side. Punch the son of a bitch. Well, you haven't lost your touch. Oh, Vespus, he stood there and lied to me. I was under orders, laddie. All those missions we flew together, you and my wing protecting me? I was protecting you by not telling you. 
Did you see what your Nelly did when you found out? I was protecting you from yourself. You know how much she meant to me. I do. But this is war, laddie. All of us have lost someone dear to us. That does not make you special. Yeah. I've heard that before. Besides, Angel may yet help us win this thing. She sent one final transmission before she was taken prisoner on Kilra. I think you may be interested to hear it. I'll wait for you in the briefing room. was not the only rabbit in uh, Confed's hat. We in Covert had our own long shot project. It became much more of a reality once Angel got to kill Val. Angel carried with her an impressive scientific package. Part of it she placed in orbit around the Kilrahi homeworld, other parts were seeded at ground level. All are cloaked and send their low-level signals to a commsat parked just outside the Kilra system, which feeds the data to us. Angel may be gone, but our work continues, laddie. Now, it turns out that the Kildra homeworld is a pretty fragile place layered with active fault lines. Its tectonic plates keep shuffling themselves like a deck of cards. Now, it's my guess that the heavy seismic activity is what propelled the Kilrahi into becoming such an aggressive spacefaring race. So Kira has an Achilles heel. Now, over the last decade, work has proceeded on a tectonic frequency weapon, the Tembla bomb. The theory goes that if we can fire this thing with absolute precision, its detonation could achieve the proper resonant frequency and trigger a tectonic reaction that would literally shake their planet apart. But even if we could destroy their home world, they got an entire army deployed. Their entire culture is based on a strict, centralized hierarchy. All roads lead to Kilra. Every Kilrahi lives and dies for the Emperor. Destroy that hierarchy, and you destroy them. So, what are we waiting for? Uh, well, we have one problem. There's no bomb. A year ago, Dr. Severin, the man in charge of this project, was captured by the Kilrahi. We tried putting the pieces together without him, but ended up with a zip. And now we have to go and get him. Well, it beats waiting for the Kilrahi to parole him. What? We gotta go after this guy on a prison planet? The only chance we've got at finishing up the T-bomb. Let's get down to the mission specifics. The prison planet is Alcor 5. We'll enter the system through the back door under normal drive. Colonel, I want you to scout ahead. Clear the asteroid field and make sure we are not detected. You got it, Laddie? Yes, sir. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Flint? I want you to be on my wing for this one. Dismissed, and good luck.
What's your status? All systems go. Bogey's in sight. Break and attack. Taking it to him. What's your status? All systems go. Bogey's in sight.
Break and attack. Taking it to him. Breaking attack. Taking it to him. Objectives accomplished.
TCS victory. <laughs> Looks like you swept out a nice path for us, sir. You're cleared to land. Wipe that sad sack look off your face, Ace. She made it. Has really been humming. Everyone knows we're getting Dr. Severin. Or Dr. Death, as he's known to some of his old friends. You know? Yeah. We go back, Sevi and I. Now you asked me the Kilrathi did the right thing locking him up. Why do I get the feeling this has to do with your classified past? Look, you know I haven't always been a pilot. You ever hear about Pac-7? Yeah. A lot of people got killed, uh, it's an accident of some sort. Millions got killed, and that was no accident. Just one of old Doc Sevy's demolitions tests. I was working for him back then. I'm certain he knew exactly what was going to happen, but he saw no reason to warn the civilians. Afterwards, Confed tried to cover it up. <laughs> but who really cared, anyway? The Paxons were just the backwards people who had nothing to offer the war effort. That's when I quit demolitions. In the cockpit? I can see the enemy. They line right up in my gun sights, and I can... The pilots I shoot down sure ain't civilians. But if there's a hell to go to, I know they've got a special place reserved for me. And Sevi. He shouldn't blame himself. Maybe there's a little redemption possible. If we get this guy, and he helps us win the war. <sighs> Talk about ironies. decade, work has proceeded on a tectonic frequency weapon, the Tembler Bomb. 
The theory goes that if we can fire this thing with absolute precision, its detonation will achieve the proper resonant frequency. All this time, he's had us bugged. We have to get it to the infirmary. No, get Hobbs. You still have time. That's a negative, Colonel. We're almost Alcor 5. Any pursuit now will jeopardize the entire operation. <sighs> Revenge. It was Hobbs. Colonel. Colonel. Colonel!
What's your status? Not even a scratch. TCS victory. I suppose you expect to be congratulated for terminating Hobbs. What you deserve is a court martial, mister, for disobeying my orders. Your impulses left us one gun short, and we needed them all, Colonel. The victory was ambushed while you were on your little joyride. You're clear to land. Report to me in the barracks. A-S-A-P.
you have any idea how much I hate this little ritual? Now I have to compose a letter to the Carol's parents that's supposed to make them feel proud of their son. I have written too many DEF comms. I suppose they'll want this. Damn it, man, you put your own needs above that of the ships. You can't ever do that. All right, the DEF CON. What happened with Hobbs, Captain? When you have an answer to that, Colonel, you let me know. In any event, we have to move quickly now, because there's no telling how much the Karathi already know. At no time does this war seem more cruel than when it ends the life of someone as young as Lieutenant Mitchell Lopez, a man young enough to still have dreams. The Carol was a pilot who at all times flew with heart and pride. Time to extract us a scientist. Your responsibility will be to provide air cover for the Marines, who will descend down onto the planet and get Dr. Severn out. I know you hear this all the time, because I used to hear it all the time, too. But this may be the most important mission that you'll ever fly. I wish I had the reflexes I had 10 years ago, laddie. I'd be flying in your wing. It's going to take all the self-control I have not to strap myself back into the cockpit. Because if we fail here, God help humanity.
Long time no see, Doc. Take it easy, boys. I've done what I came to do. Mission objectives accomplished. Need clearance, TCS Victory. <laughs> we got him, sir. But you never guess he landed himself in the brig. You're cleared. Oh, General Tagger wants to speak to you. Well done, Lenny. You've done us all proud. I wish I could stick around and celebrate when you land, but now that we've got several and I've got a lot of work to do, you'll hear from me again. Pretty slick flying, sir. Thanks, Chief. with dreary day-to-day -day account. I cannot understand this Terran foray into the Elcor system. The attempt to free but a few prisoners. If you please, Your Majesty, I may be able to shed some light. Yes, young one. The apes took but one prisoner. His skills are technical. Scientific in nature. And these skills are applied to... That we did not fully explore. His range of knowledge was vast. We are winning the war, Your Majesty. And daily we move closer to invasion of the Terran world. A vast amount is being assembled. Never before has there been such a mighty force. No, let it be forgotten. It is when the foe is near vanquishing that he is most dangerous, my prince. As always, your majesty speaks truly and wisely. Everything to get this one egghead they say might win the war. Although I'll believe that when I see it. And Vagabond Dex a guy? <laughs> <laughs> I bet old Vagabond doesn't get out of the brig till the Karathi let him out. Well, Vagabond, we'll just see about that. that. I'm gonna have a talk with the captain.
I tell you about trusting a cat? Hey, too bad Cobra had to die to get her point across. You're asking for it, man. <laughs> temper, temper. You can't afford to lose any more wingmen. You know, for once you're right. I am. We're just gonna have to settle it out there. The next time you're on my wing, I might just rotate my turret. And hey, accidents happen. Ooh, I'm shaking. You know, I got a turret too, pal. We'll see. Let's get started, Colonel. Yes, sir. HQ sent us here to Freya because they've located a jump point that leads straight to Kira. A nice little back door we can use later when Dr. Severin completes his device. One slight problem, however, is that the Kirathi own this system. We have to clean them out. Go to it, Colonel. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Flint, I want you to be on my wing for this one. Dismissed, and good luck. Taking attack. Taking it to him. Target.
bogeys in sight. Break and attack. Taking it to them. Okay. <laughs> 
your status? I'm hanging in there. Objective accomplished. Need clearance, TCS victory. <laughs> Looks like the Karath even busy in their shipyards. I guess it takes more than some new tin cans to phase you, Colonel. You're cleared to land. smoked him, Colonel. Thanks, Chief. somewhere? No. <laughs> Cleaning this out helps me clear my head sometimes. I do a little of that myself. Letting go of, I don't know, certain memories. Hmm. That's good to hear. I, I haven't wanted to pursue it while you were still hoping to find Angel. And I'm probably way out of line here. Um, but but it seems like maybe there's something between you and me. Perhaps it's that way with all the female crew members on board. <laughs> well, believe it or not, Flint, I'm not in the habit of flirting with every woman on board. Well, sir, I'm not in the habit of flirting with every man on board. But you do make exceptions? I have, yeah. Oh. Colonel, something on your mind? Captain, the brig is no place for a pilot of vagabond skills. Oh, I agree. But the brig is a place for someone as undisciplined as he. Try the hard sell. Sir, this war's eaten in all of our souls. Vagabonds especially. He deserves another chance. You'll take personal responsibility for him. He flies under me. That goes without saying. Very well. Thank you, sir. But a weary, Colonel. Let's get to it. As you wish, Captain. We've run into another glitch with this jump point to Kira. It's shielded. The shield generator is based on Freya 2. 
Here's where we see how good these Excaliburs are in taking the fight to the ground. Colonel, I want you to lead the ground assault. Destroy that generator. Good luck, Colonel.
TCS victory. That was a real test for those Excaliburs. You kicked some heavy duty ass, sir. You cleared the land, Colonel. smoked him, Colonel. Thanks, Chief. Well, up a chair. 
for a guy who's been staring at four gray walls for a while. Pretty chipper. Well, that's it, isn't it? I'm not playing solitaire anymore. Got you to thank for that. Well, we all lose it once in a while. Yeah. Well, if I had to do it again, I'd still pop the son of a bitch. <laughs> Let's go over the mission, shall we? Yes, sir. Colonel, now that we've secured the jump point, we have to clamp down on the Karathi coming through. They can't get word back to their command that we own the jump point now. Give it your best, Colonel. Dismiss. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Flash, you're gonna be my wingman. Watch and learn. Dismissed, and good luck. Break an attack. And watch this action.
Mission objectives accomplished. What's your status? Not a scratch. Need clearance, TCS Victory. We got reinforcements coming in, Colonel. So at last we can unload this jump point on them. We're moving out. You're cleared to land. Pretty slick flying, sir. Thanks, Chief. And decision making in action, I'm impressed. Now it's always moment by moment in the cockpit. Are we going to expand upon that moment? Are we going to kick in the afterburners here? Oh boy, kiss her. It would never work with her. Oh, Rachel. I'm flattered, really, but you and me were oil and water. There's no future in it. Surprised you even noticed me. Whatever you may think, Rachel and I are not an item. So where does that leave us? Oh, kiss her. I think it'd be a big mistake. I can't take the risk of getting involved with someone who might be on my wing. There's too much at stake.
Let's get started, Colonel. Yes, sir. Your old friend Paladin's been keeping busy. He sent us a little gift, prototype of the Timbler bomb. We're jumping into the Hyperion system where Intel's located an uninhabited and tectonically unstable world. A perfect test site for the weapon. An Excalibur's been modified for this special payload, and Colonel, you've been selected to deliver it by dropping to the surface of the planet and hitting the bullseye. Your timing, your aim have to be perfect. Ready to go, sir. I like that enthusiasm. Dismissed.
mission objectives accomplished. TCS victory. Damn, Colonel. So much for HQ's intelligence support on this place being empty. But I do know they're gonna call you the Planet Slayer from now on. You're clear to land. Mission. Way to go, Sir Outstand. <laughs> All we gotta do now is nuke Kilra, and I can get back to some serious test piloting. Something like that. Gotta tell you, I'm surprised I survived all these missions. Surprised you too, I bet, huh? Have to admit, he's a. Yeah, you hung tough. I gotta hand you that. I've been to just about every corner of every galaxy, and it's been a hell of a ride. What's this? Weepy nostalgia from the hardened card shark? <laughs> well, it's just that I've been thinking. Here on the Victory, for the first time, I feel like I put down some roots. He really deserves a home. You've been a good influence on the rest of us. You don't take yourself too seriously, and you're a damn good pilot. Thank you, sir. You're not so bad yourself. How about a quick hand of cards? <laughs> Let's go over the mission, shall we? Yes, sir. We're jumping back into Hyperion. Confed's decided it's a good staging area, and we're building up a fleet there. Apparently, the Karate have got wind of this build-up. We're going to be escorting the big boys. Good luck, Colonel. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Flint, I want you to be on my wing for this one. Dismissed, and good luck.
Take an attack. Take it Break an attack. Take it to him.
Break and attack. Taking it to him. status. is accomplished. Need clearance, TCS Victory. Boy, those cap ships sure blast some fireworks, don't they, sir? Another day, though. You're cleared to land. Pretty slick flying, sir. Thanks, Chief.
Let's get down to business, shall we? I'm ready, sir. Our jump point to Kerai in the Freya system is being threatened. We can't allow the Karathi to take it back. Not if we're going to put it to use later. Give it your best, Colonel. Dismissed. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Flint, I want you to be on my wing for this one. Dismissed, and good luck. Taking attack. Taking it to him. Attack. Taking it to him. 
accomplished. Pretty slick flying, sir. Thanks, Chief. How long 
The assault on the Terran home system commences in 48 hours. Victory, Melek. It smells sweet. Although combat is never predictable, I do hope for one last encounter with the heart of the tiger. It will make our triumph all the more complete. I'd just like to take this opportunity to say... At first, I wasn't so sure about your assignment to the victory, but I'm glad you came on board. It's been an honor and a privilege serving with you. That goes both ways, Captain. The Templar bomb still seems like a long shot, but from what I've seen, you're the one man who can do what has to be done. I just hope I can justify that faith, sir. Well, you will. Hmm? So? <sighs> well, gentlemen, our goal is simple. Termination of the Karathi homeworld via the T-bomb. Now, since we can't jump the entire fleet into Kiroth, we've equipped your Excalibur with Confit's first attempt at truly impenetrable cloaking technology. The Sral device seems effective at jamming their tracking monitors, but it causes severe drain on your ship's systems. It'll be useless after you deliver the payload. You'll need all your power just to get the hell out of there. Now, the first step is to assemble a quick strike team up to four wingmen penetrate the Kiroth system where you'll stage at a clandestine refueling depot set up by covert ops. Due to its mass sensitive guidance suite and the risk of flying with it, the T-bomb has already been secreted into the system. Now once you load it here at your second stop, you'll have just one target. Successful insertion will require the ultimate in navigational skills. As we've been told, Confed holds that destruction of the Kirath homeworld will badly cripple their war effort. And our timing may be just right. Since Intel believes much of the enemy fleet is being outfitted in the shipyards surrounding their homeworld. Colonel, if all goes well, you will not return to the victory until you've succeeded with the entire operation. This is my only briefing then, sir? Oh, comrade of yours will be taking over. Hello again, Letty. I know Captain Eisner's given you a thorough briefing, but you'll find a few more messages from yours truly on the other side of the jump point. I may not be flying in your wing like times past, but I'm still with you. You can count on that. Colonel. Good luck. Thank you, sir. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Vagabond, I want you as my wingman. Maniac, you're gonna be my wingman. Don't make me regret it. Flint, I want you to be on my wing for this one. Dismissed, and good luck.
company. Uh -oh. Ready to rock and roll. Break and attack. Here we go. What's your status? Not a scratch on me. What's your status? <laughs> they can't touch me. What's your status? All systems go. Break and attack. Here we go. Ready to rock and roll. Break and attack. Watch and learn, Colonel.
my target. You got it. Maintain radio silence. Roger that. Lip radio silence. Roger that. Attack my target. Roger that. my target. You got it. Attack my target. Roger that. Objectives accomplished. Attack my target. You got it. Attack my target. Roger that.
Need clearance to land. Excalibur, you're cleared to land. <laughs> Watching this laddie, we're in good shape. Let's not waste any time. My boys have set up an undercover depot closer to the Kildra homeworld. Keep your fingers crossed the Kildrathi haven't found it, because there you will arm and load the T-bomb for the final run. I'll be talking to you again, I have no doubt.
on my wing. Roger that. You got to take this sentence of concave. Break and attack. Taking it to him. Thank <laughs> you. 
Need clearance to land. Excalibur, you are cleared to land. I told you you'd be seeing this old face again. By now the T-bomb loadout is complete. You're gonna have to lay it in there sweet and easy. As this tape plays, the coordinates are being downloaded to you. It's in your hands now, son. Send them all to hell. status. attack.
Isn't that the guy from Star Wars? Need clearance, TCS Victory. I guess that's a new definition of disaster, eh, Colonel? If I got more bad news, Confit finally owned up to how badly the war's going. I told you this was coming, didn't I? A massive Karathi Armada is threatening Earth, and we're jumping to Proxima to help hold them off. We clear to land. Things look pretty grim, Colonel. Here's the situation. The Karathi are coming at us full throttle. We've fallen back to this jump point in the Proxima system because it leads straight to Earth. We can't defend this doorway. We might as well roll out the red carpet for them. And I'm not gonna lie to you, Colonel. We're outnumbered and outgunned. Understood, sir. I'll do my best. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Flint, I want you to be on my wing for this one. Dismissed, and good luck.
Target. Roger that. Telling you, Colonel, we're gonna be eating cat food pretty soon. That is, if we don't become cat food. You're cleared to land, and you better make it quick. We jump out in 60 seconds. TCS victory. Need clearance, TCS victory. You know the situation as well as I do. In all likelihood, we will never see each other again. I know none of us wants to live under Karathi rule, so all I ask is that you fight like you've never fought before. For duty. For honor. For all mankind.
What's your status? <laughs> they can't touch me.
Sir, all our shields are down. We can't stop. They are not taking my ship. Sir, what, what are you doing? You're heading right into their fleet. We'll take as many of them with us as we can. Make your peace, Mr. Rollins. from this screw you for you what of the diner a warrior's death Ha, 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 ha,